Hey everybody, I'm the Otaku Artist, and welcome to a fan art video! It's... <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had one of these. Well, I'm bringing the series back, but I'm changing it up a little bit. So instead of doing a fan art video every few months, I'm gonna change it to a once a year thing, where I discuss my thoughts on the past year and talk about my New Year's resolutions. I've always really liked the tradition of every year of reflecting on what happened and making new goals for the year. I, I really like doing that sort of thing. So I thought I would kind of incorporate the fan art into that, um, and also so I have an excuse to, to make a video about New Year's. <laughs> So it has been a few years since the last fan art video, and so because of that, there is a lot of art I've never shown before. So this video is gonna have a lot of old art and new art, um, so if you go check out the artist after this video and see that their art style has changed, it's probably because a lot of this art is like three years old. <laughs> On screen will be the fan art accompanied by the name of the artist. So a lot of these artists have social media like Twitter or DeviantArt or Tumblr or whatever. So make sure to look them up and follow them after this video. Now, if you'd like to send me any fan art, you can always do so by adding me on Twitter or going to any of my socials and DMing me or adding me. And so in the description below, you can find all my socials. Um, thank you guys all so much for the lovely fan art throughout the years. I, I really appreciate it a lot. It's always such a nice treat receiving some, so it, it means so much to me. Now, I do have to address the elephant in the room. Um, a lot of this fan art, since it's from a few years ago, before I introduced my new persona, will be of my old persona design, which was just kind of boring. It was just kind of supposed to be me with slightly lighter hair because <laughs> as a kid I really really wanted to be blonde um my my hair actually was a lot lighter than it is now but I digress um so yeah there only is a few drawings of Wolfie but I will say um thank you all to who drew Wolfie after I revealed uh my new persona because um, at first I was kind of hesitant because I'd always wanted um, like my persona to be a wolf girl, but I was like, that's too cringy. But now I'm like, fuck it. I don't care, man. <laughs> I'm gonna embrace the cringe. I, I am already very cringy. I'm a weeb. Um, I am an adult and I collect plushies and figures and stuff. Um, I'm a furry, uh, literally. The thousand subscribers special live stream. I wore like wolf ears and a tail um, to reflect my persona. So I don't care. It's cringy, and I am cringe. So, <laughs> but anyway, I was going on a tangent there. But what I'm trying to get at is, I do really appreciate the Wolfie fan art because I was kind of nervous to do that at first, and then everyone was like, "I like your persona design," and that meant a lot to me. So, tangent aside. 2023 is over, and oh my gosh, this year was like insane for me. Just so much happened. So last year on Twitter, I made a post talking about my New Year's resolutions for this upcoming year of 2023. Although, um, for some reason, I wrote 2022 New Year's resolutions instead of 2023. Um, but le let's take a look at them. So it looks like I made seven resolutions. So I'm gonna go through and see if I got any of these done. So number one was finally return to YouTube. And yeah, that 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 happened. Otherwise, uh I wouldn't be making this video right now. <laughs> At the time of making this video, it's been a little less than a year since I returned after my two-year break. Um, I took a step away from YouTube for a couple of years due to some personal stuff happened in my life and I am very happy to be back. It, it's been such a blast making videos and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Uh, resolution number two was make a short animated series on YouTube. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope, that certainly didn't happen. Um, I will say part of that reason that didn't happen is because 
Um, one of only two animations I made this year. Um, one of which took six months to make. And then the other one only took me like a week to make because I just kind of wanted something easy and quick to make. Um, which didn't even turn out that great because there's a lot of animation mistakes in that. But I, I digress. Um, but I, I've had a few ideas floating around for original animated series or just animated shorts. Um, and I have like a list of things I want to make. But I don't really know when that will happen since I already have a lot of other big list of projects I want to make. So um, eventually I'll probably make those like animations that I have planned, but I don't know when it'll happen because animation takes a long time and I have a lot of other uh, big projects I want to make. Resolution 3 was get a pet! And yep, I got my little Scrimlo, the little Screakle, Trico Scrimbledorf, or Scrimbledoof. Did I name him Scrimbled? Dorf or Scr Scrimble Doof? I think it's Scrimble Dorf. Oh my god, I'm a terrible mother. I can't even remember my own child's last name. <sighs> I'm sure he'll forgive me. But anyway, I love him so much. I I'm really happy I got him. He's my little child. My son. <laughs> um, resolution 4 was get back into learning Japanese. Uh, this kind of happened. So at the start of this year, I kept up with this for about a month or two, and then uh, I slowly stopped before leaving Duolingo on red for months. <laughs> um, I do want to actually learn Japanese. Um, I have gone back and forth throughout the last few years of starting to learn and then dropping it, uh, but I, I do actually want to learn Japanese. Resolution 5 was attend my first con and cosplay for the first time. Now, this is something that has been on my life bucket list for years. And I'm so happy it actually happened. I had just, oh my gosh, such an amazing time at Too Many Games this past year. And cosplaying Lukua was a lot of fun. I plan on cosplaying a different character next year and attending TMG again, so I'll be there. So if you see if you're at the con too and you see me walking around, feel free to say hi. Um, and expect another vlog style video about my trip next June. Resolution 6 was finishing 100 percenting Animal Crossing New Horizons and possibly Super Kirby Clash. Now on my like life bucket list. Um, I know it sounds kind of silly, but I want to 100% one Animal Crossing game, since um, that's a huge thing, um, and I guess I'm a masochist or something, because I seem to really like 100%ing huge games. Like, for example, I've 100%ed Breath of the Wild, I'm currently working on 100%ing Tears of the Kingdom and Mario Odyssey as well. Um, at one point, I went on 100% Minecraft, like getting all the achievements. Um, I have done all the bosses in that. But um, Animal Crossing game, that is on my list. Um, it's for two reasons. One, I just think that 100%ing a Animal Crossing game would be a huge accomplishment since Animal Crossing games are huge. Um, and second of all, I want to milk New Horizons dry so that the next Animal Crossing game doesn't feel too far away. Um, uh, I don't want it to be like New Leaf where I love that game to death, but um, after I did pretty much everything I wanted to do in it, I dropped it and then the wait for New Horizons felt incredibly long. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, me 100%ing this game, I'll feel very fulfilled and like content. And then by the time the next Animal Crossing game comes along, it won't feel that that far off. <laughs> now, I will say I didn't end up 100%ing New Horizons here. However, I made a ton of progress in it. Like, I got done most of it. This year, I ended up getting most, most of the Nook Miles achievements. And I completed my entire museum. Yeah, everything including the art. I only have a few Nook Miles achievements left, um, and besides that, I 
pretty sure that means I'll, I have 100%ed the game. Um, I am not getting all the catalog though. I don't really count that as needing 100% because, first of all, uh, it, it would be insane to do. And second of all, you don't get an achievement and the game doesn't acknowledge it. So, that I don't count. Um, but after I get those Nook Miles achievements, I have 100% the main game. And I also plan on 100%ing the Happy Home DLC. So I should definitely finish 100%ing it sometime in the upcoming year. Also, I want to say, keep this in mind, I don't really time travel in New Horizons, like, at all. So, um, a part of the goal is the 100% an Animal Crossing game, like, legitimately. So I'm trying not to hunt, uh, I'm trying not to time travel, like, at all. Um, the only exceptions is, like, for this video, I time traveled so I could get footage of the New Year's night. Um, so that it would fit, you know, posting today. Um, but besides that, like, actually trying to work on 100%ing, I haven't done, like, any time traveling. Now, what about Kirby Clash? So, I have completed the story and 100% in most levels. There's only a handful I haven't. Um, I only have a few levels needed to, to 100%, and I need to get every outfit and weapon. Now, the thing is, I am slowly 100%ing it, um, because you can only collect a few gem apples, which is the currency in the game, every 12 hours. Unless you want to grind through some levels, but since it's on the back burner right now, I'm only, like, checking in twice a day to get those gem apples. Now, the reason I went on 100% this game is that it's a free-to-play, pay-to-win kind of game. Um, almost like a mobile game. And I just think it would be cool to say that I've 100% in one of those kind of games without paying a single penny. Um, that, so, yeah. I might 100% it this upcoming year. It might take longer. It's on the back burner, so who knows? I don't really mind if I 100% it this upcoming year or not. I just want to make sure I 100% this game before Switch, like, shuts down its online service, but I doubt it will take that long to 100%. And then my last resolution for 2023 was improving my art, getting better at anatomy, line art, and coloring. I would say I achieved this. Um, I'm still not 100% happy with my art, um, but I think I'm starting to get there. Um, I did a lot of experimenting with my art this year, and even though I didn't really hit my goal of trying to make my art style look professional, um, like, the goal is to get it mistaken for video game or anime art. I feel like if I keep on experimenting and trying to improve my art, I can reach the goal. For most of this year, I was kind of in an art rut, and um, I felt like I wasn't making any progress in my art, because I noticed that my art has been kind of stagnant these last few years, like, it hasn't really improved dramatically in, in much ways. Um, but now that I'm at the the end of this year, after going through my experiments, I have noticed that I have gotten a little bit better. Um, I, I don't think it's improving as much as I would have liked, but I think I have improved on coloring. Um, just recently with my new profile picture, I kind of struck gold and figured out a really cute pastel, um, bright coloring style that works and I really like. Um, I think I have gotten better at, um, anatomy a little bit and um like things little things like hair um i think i'm getting better at faces and yeah i i think i'm starting to get better so so yeah i, I i'd say I, I reached that goal 2023 was just a really great year for me like i accomplished a lot this year in January, I got my little scrimblo scromble, trico the, li the little hamster guy. Um, in June, I did a lot of fun traveling, like going to my first convention, cosplaying for the first time, and doing fun stuff like going to an aquarium. Um, in October, a lot of really great stuff happened in my personal life. I traveled outside of America for the first time, going to London, places in England, and even Poland. And um, during my travels, I went to a lot of different places and had a lot of experiences. Um, I didn't vlog all of those experiences since some of them were kind of personal, but um, I did vlog a lot of it. So 
those vlogs should be coming to my channel fairly soon. And then, um, just recently, my Silent Hill video kind of blew up, and I hit my goal of a thousand subscribers, and I did my first live stream in years! And then, there were a lot of good games that came out this year. Like, um, for example, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, um, I do feel a little mixed on it because it's still that Breath of the Wild formula, but I really enjoyed that. Super Mario RPG was the best remake of a game I've ever played. Um, there's others that I, I played that were fantastic. If you ever want to see like what games I've been playing, my link in the description of all my videos is to my backloggery. So I have more games listed there. Um, but the cherry on the top of the cake was Pikmin 4 came out this year. I have waited 10 years for that game. And oh my gosh, it, it turned out so good. There was, it was just, ugh, it was so worth the wait. There's probably more stuff that happened this year that I'm just not thinking about, but oh my gosh, so much happened this year for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very thankful for everything that happened this year. It, it was a really great year. Um, a few years ago, I had like the worst year of my life. Um, so having like such a fantastic year, like for this year, it, it means a lot. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy with, with everything that happened this year. Just thank you all so much for the support on my YouTube videos and art. Um, I'm really thankful to everyone who watches my content and enjoys my creations. So, so yeah, that was how my year went. How about you guys? Did you accomplish any new goals this year? Um, and if so, what were they? Uh, comment below, I, I'd love to read. And um, to those who have had a pretty bad year, there's always next year. Next year will definitely be better, so keep on trucking through. Even if things have sucked this year, there will always be good stuff coming eventually. And I know that sounds like a cliche, but I, I really do mean that. Um, I've been in some really bad places before in my life, and just this year, um, and, and how my life has kind of gone uphill since then, um, I can say that, that yeah, even if you are in a very bad spot, everything, even if everything seems hopeless, eventually things will get better and get good, and it will all be worth it in the end. So yeah, I... Sorry if that sounded kind of cliche, I just thought I'd say that because, um, I know that not everyone had a great year, um, this past 2023, and I, I thought it was worth saying just because I don't want to be like, Oh, your year sucked, but mine was great! <laughs> so anyway, um, so moving on. Let's talk about 2024. What are my New Year's resolutions for, for this upcoming year? So, I decided to make five resolutions this year. Resolution one, finish 100%ing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, with how much progress I've made in New Horizons this past year, I have full confidence that in 2024, I will 100% New Horizons. Once I 100% the main game, or before I do, I don't know. Um, the point is, I'm also gonna 100% the Happy Home DLC. And after I finish 100%ing the main game, um, I plan on making a video on advice on how to 100% New Horizons. Um, and uh, if you do, just know it's uh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> any any time you're 100%ing an Animal Crossing game, it's a lot of work. But uh, yeah, it's it's a big commitment. <laughs> um, and hey, even if you're not going to 100%. Animal Crossing, uh, watch my video because, uh, at the time of recording this, I've spent almost 800 hours in New Horizons, and I, uh, I want to feel like it was at least worth something <laughs> that I made that big of a commitment of this. But yeah, on my life bucket list is 100%ing Animal Crossing game, since it's a lot of work and a big accomplish to me if I do so. And once I finally am done 100%ing New Horizons, I can start focusing more on 100%ing other large games I want to 100%. I mean, I'm already 
like on and off I'll play Tears of the Kingdom and Mario Odyssey because I'm representing those as well. But um, once New Horizons is gone, um, I might work on 100%ing Minecraft. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Resolution number two, get another pet. Now, for the past few months, I've been really wanting to get an aquatic pet, like fish, snails, or even something like an axolotl. Now, I know someone who can help me figure out how to take care of these kind of pets, and which one would be best for a beginner at, like, taking care of, like, a tank and stuff. But this year, I would really like to get another pet. I thought it would be nice to have, like, a tank where, like, Trico can see, like, the fish or whatever I have in there, and they can see them. Like, they, they can be little companions. If you guys have seen my aquarium vlogs, you'll know that I, I love aquatic life so much. It, it really fascinates me, and so I'd love to have an aquatic pet. Um, I know that this is getting a little off topic. Something I want to point out that I've always found kind of amusing is my name's Kai, um, which for those who don't know means water. It also has some other translations in other languages to mean other type of water-based things. Like I forget what language, but I know one time I read it meant like seashell. And I think it's kind of funny that my name means water and I love everything about the water. Like I love rain, I love sea life, I love just water, like aquatic creatures. So yeah, I, I thought I'd mention that because I find that kind of amusing. Resolution three, make a lot of progress on my video game. My video game, you may ask. Well, yep, that's right. I am making a video game. Now, I am not actually gonna give you guys any info on it right now since it's in early development, but just know that it's in the works. Um, I have a lot of big creative projects I've been wanting to do for a long time, um, and uh, this is one of them. Um, I decided to focus on this project in particular first. Um, I have other projects I want to make, but yeah, right now I'm, I'm working on this one. Now, I'm not going to force myself to rush development, um, because that's a, a bad idea. I don't want it to turn out bad. Um, so I'm not planning on finishing the game this year. My resolution is just to make a lot of progress on set game. So yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I'm, so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun making it and I look forward to showing it off to you guys and teasing it when it's further into development. Resolution four, finally make those huge YouTube videos I've been putting off for years. <laughs> Now, there have been a few huge video ideas that I have been wanting to make for years that I've put on the back burner because I know that they will take a long time to make. And so that's why I've been putting them off for so long. <laughs> but this year, I hope to finally make them. Now, I don't want to spoil what they are, but all I'll say is um, they're all gaming related in some way and are kind of educational discussion type videos. One is more like educational and then another is more of my personal feelings towards something. Um, and uh, if you like my Silent Hill video, I think you will really like one of these, these videos. Um, I think I'll like both, but one of them in particular is gonna be more opinionated, more about me just talking about my thoughts on something specific. And yeah, I, uh, it's a huge project, so pl please watch it when it comes out. <laughs> I'll point out which, which ones they are when, when they, when they come out. <laughs> and my last resolution for 2024 is resolution five, get back into learning Japanese. Now, I know this was on my list last year. And throughout the past years, I've learned a little bit here and there, but I, I need to actually commit to it. <laughs> I plan on starting off small with learning just a little bit once a week, then moving into a few days a week to daily. And I think if I do that, I can learn a fair bit of Japanese this upcoming year. On my life bucket list, eventually I want to go to Japan and just learning Japanese is also on my life bucket list. So um, I, I want to learn a fair bit of Japanese before I go one day. And there's no reason to point it off, I might as well start now. And yeah, so uh, hopefully I actually stick with this plan. <laughs> 
So, Editing Kai here. So, when editing this video, I realized that I completely forgot to mention that I actually have two more resolutions. So, yeah, seven re resolutions this year, just like last year. So, resolution six is that I want to continue to improve my art. I think I improved my coloring a lot this year, so my main focus this upcoming year will be making art I normally don't make. Um, it, it kind of surprised me how much I noticed that my art uh, coloring has improved, especially towards the end. Um, of course I'll still be working on coloring because um, right now I'm not really doing light sources and stuff because I don't know how to describe it, but like when I draw a character they exist in like an empty space, there's like no sun, there's no light source. Um, so I, I, I want to try that out, but that's not my main focus. My main focus is making art I normally don't make. So um, I want to make at least one piece this upcoming year that is focused on drawing a background. I've drawn backgrounds before, of course, but <laughs> backgrounds take a long time. Um, there was a commission I did for my friend Matthew for a Zelda fanfiction of his, and that was really fun to make, but it took me forever. <laughs> because, um, I, I can draw backgrounds, they just take forever, that's why I put them off. Um, and then, a while ago, a few years back, I drew a Breath of the Wild, like, animated gif that was, like, Hyrule's background. That one was more simple, though, but still took me a bit. And unfortunately, this is lost media, because it was on my old computer and that died. Um, but I was working on a animation meme, which was supposed to be of Breath of the Wild, Zelda, crushing on Link. It was like a Zelink one. And this was before Tears of the Kingdom and Age of Calamity, so like, there was no images of Zelda's bedroom before the Calamity, so I kind of had to make it up. And I spent a long time taking pictures and just, like, looking at the relics of Zelda's bedroom in Breath of the Wild. And I drew that, and I did finish it, but- and, uh, that took me a while, and I was really proud of it, but unfortunately, yeah, that's lost media. But I have drawn backgrounds before, but I want to make at least one drawing focused on a background this year. And, um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and somehow I keep on not doing it. But I want to make some creepy art! From all the cutesy art, you you probably wouldn't expect this from me unless you know me personally, but I am a huge, huge fan of horror. I love everything creepy and scary, and of course, I love Silent Hill. Um, so I want to make some creepy art, and it probably will be Silent Hill fan art. I actually have a unfinished work in progress of some Silent Hill fan art, but that's just kind of kind of basic. I'll probably put it on screen now. It it needs a lot of work. I'm not done with it at all. Um, but I want to make some Silent Hill fan art that's more creepy. Um, probably will include backgrounds and creepy enemies and stuff. I, I want to try that because I I want to draw scary stuff. I I I really really want to. <laughs> And lastly, I would like to try making some lineless art. At, at least just one lineless drawing. Um, I think I've tried this once before, but I tried looking and if I did, I don't think I posted it anywhere or it got deleted or something. But I would like to try that. So yeah, uh, this past year I experimented a lot and that seemed to help my growth as an artist, so I want to keep on experimenting. I also want to keep on working on anatomy since my anatomy needs a lot of work. I can tell it's getting better, but um, I still need to work on it. And now, I don't really have any planned, but if I make any animations this upcoming year of 2024, which I probably will, we'll see. Um, I hope to improve my animation as well. And for the actual last resolution, this past year, I've gotten quite a few books and manga that have just been collecting dust on my shelf. I've read a couple of them, but this year I want to read all those books on my shelf. <laughs> um, I don't have too many books on my shelf right now, 
Um, they're mostly just like Zelda concept art books, some Ghibli ones, um, the novel version of Kiki's Delivery Service. I've got um, a bunch of Death Note books and manga, stuff like that. Um, and there's, there's just a few of them, but I, I want to actually read them. Because <laughs> I haven't like set any time aside to read them. So, uh, like, a few years ago, I did have a huge manga collection. Um, it was at least 50, maybe more. Um, and I know that to some people that's not huge, but to me it was pretty big. But, um, I'm slowly collecting what I previously lost, and I'm hoping to grow that collection. But before I grow it anymore, I, I want to make sure I, like, read, read what I have so I don't overwhelm myself later and have this whole shelf of books and be like, where do I start? <laughs> uh, right now, I am in the middle of getting all the Death Note manga since I adored the anime. Um, it definitely deserves its place as like a very popular, well-known anime. And so I want to read all the manga and books too. I have quite a few of them. So far, I've only read the little like side stories book, which was just a few like one-off chapters. But I, I need to actually read all the manga and books. So yeah. Now back to past Kai. <laughs> so yeah. Those are my thoughts on 2023 and my plan for 2024. I think that setting goals for yourself each year is always a fun and good idea. So why don't you guys make some too? Um, let me know what your guys' New Year's resolutions slash goals are in the comments below. I, I'd really like to read them and kind of start a discussion with you guys about that. Now, I've planned this video for quite a few months, but, um, you know, New Year's isn't until the end of the year. So, um, I, I waited a few months before actually starting to make it. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think of this new format with the fan art videos. I think it's actually a little bit more interesting than just um, a few minutes of me talking about the art. Um, and nothing else really on screen. Um, I, I think this is a better format, but let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you guys like it, I'll probably keep this up with a once a year fan art collection video slash New Year's reflection video. Thank you all just so much for watching and Happy New Year's! Thank you to everyone who's stuck around this year and um, the past years. Um, just thank you again for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. I, it, it means a lot to me. And I hope to see you guys next year for more videos, art, and other creative projects. So, I'm the Otaku Artist, and I'll see you all next year.